now. Created by Konami. Alright guys, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Alright, welcome back for part two. Alright, how's it going guys? Uh, this is uh, Flood and Mod 14. I'm not sure I said that in the last video. Yeah, well, anyway. Um, we are back here with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, basically started the game and, uh, you know, kind of had uh, a couple of tutorial duels. Uh, and in this episode, we are going to continue, and we have some new mail. So let's check it out. Uh, let's see. Thank you for registering what dual set were. Alright. Yes, up to date. Info on dual sticks, discs, <laughs> discs, and card packs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dual disc has a search function. Oh, yeah, and this is just uh, more information. You know, if you're just now, if you're new to the game, and, uh, you know, you're not sure how to find Dulles. This will remind you, so. Two pretty good emails there. Alright. And with that, we can exit. Uh, now, to start this episode, I'm actually going to pick up... Well, I'm not going to pick up, like, two or three packs. I'm actually just going to pick up, like, one. You know, just to show you, um, you know... Um, how to, I guess, I guess how to buy packs, you know, in case you want to. Um, but for me, um, I don't like to buy packs in the game, you know, right away, and I'll explain why in a second. Um, so these are the beginning packs. Uh, Miracle of Nature, Shadows of Labyrinth, Mechanical Trap Power, and Flight to New World. Um, I'm just going to buy Mechanical Trap Power. I'm just going to buy one. Um, but, yeah, here's why I don't like to, uh, buy in the beginning. Uh, as you can see, you know, uh, there's, uh, ten packs in total in, in a set. Um, what I like to do, and there are 150 per pack, so 150 times ten, that's 1,500. Uh, what I like to do, and, and this kind of goes back to last episode when I was explaining, oh, I'm going to reset, you know, if I lose because I want the points. Uh, what I like to do is buy, you know, basically uh, all 10 packs is what, what you're going to see me do in the beginning. Uh, and that way you, you'll get your guaranteed uh, ultra rare, uh, which are, you know, pretty much the cards you're going to want uh, uh, throughout the game. So, uh, well, with that being said, let's uh, buy one of these packs. And yeah, that way I can also show you how to... Uh, Add new cards to your deck if you want to. Ah, uh, Forge Tree. Oh, Crawling Dragon. That's actually not bad. Mountain. And Time Machine. Not a bad trap card at all. So, there we go. And yeah, it'll show you which ones are new as well. And of course, you can uh, look at the detail on them. But yeah, we're just going to buy one for now. And uh, yeah. Oh, that is a Duelist of the Roses poster back there. Huh, that's pretty cool, man. Oh, and they have another one over here by the door. Huh, pretty cool. I like to LP that game someday, but I'd have to uh, buy a PS2, and uh, still, it definitely be worth it. It would be fun. It'd be fun to do that someday. All right, so let's go back home and click on our dual disc here, and I'll show you guys how to edit your deck. So basically, uh, basically, this is your main deck here. Uh, if you need to click on it, you press D. But we'll go to the trunk here, and there's not going to be much in here, of course, because we just started. Uh, but to move cards, you can either... Um, and I am playing on an emulator for all those. Uh, that may be why the sound's a little slower, too, but uh, it still kind of works. But yeah, you can either click on it to move it, or do what I'm going to do. You can press A, click on it, and yeah, it'll go. And, you, and then from there, you can either choose your deck or your side deck, and press A again. A uh, mountain. I don't know if that'd be useful to us or not, but nothing else I might put it in the side deck. Okay, so we added Crawler Dragon. Now, you can see that's 1600, so it's actually, you know, 
pretty good compared to <laughs> some of these other cards like Mushroom Man. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to take that out right now. Yeah, yeah, definitely going to take out Mushroom Man. Uh, I'll put it in the trunk. And, uh, what other card did I put in? Oh, yeah, I put in Mountain. Not sure if we need that, but I put in Time Machine, which is pretty useful. Uh, if one of your monsters is destroyed, you can basically return it back to the field uh, in battle, right? Yeah, in battle. So that's pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll take out a trap we don't really need. Like, hmm. For example, Red Medicine. Don't really need it. I mean, um. Block attack. Uh, I guess it can be useful. But I'm thinking we take out. Yeah, two pronged attack. It, honestly, it's just not one of the best cards. It's not. I'll put it in the side deck, but I mean, I don't know why, but I guess just in case I ever want it back. As far as mountain, dragon, wing beast, and thunder. Uh, for our types. Oh, this deck comes with Cosgen. That's good. Uh, Dragon, Wing Beast, and... Oh, no, that's a Fiend. I thought it might be a Wing Beast. Dragon, Wing Beast, and Thunder. Yeah, it doesn't look like Mountain would do us much good. But if we got... Let's see. I got a couple Fiends there. Uh, yeah, I got another one there. Spellcaster. Yeah, if we got, like, a Yami Field card... Uh, that would maybe... Yeah, another Fiend. Yeah. Yeah, if we got a Yami field card, that would be pretty good, honestly, uh, for this early starter deck. Uh, so, I'm going to put Mountain to the side. Yeah. And also, uh, another feature here, if you click on your deck, and then click Save Recipe, you can actually save uh, your deck. So, there you go. And we're gonna save right there for the star deck. Huh. So, actually, that's interesting. I didn't think there'd be any recipes on here, but it actually looks like it saved the name of some of my other recipes for my other save files. So that's interesting. Um, and I'm gonna change the name of our starter deck to, uh, I don't know, Floods. Uh, Floods Paradise. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a starter deck, but I don't. I don't want it to just say starter deck when we enter a duel. I want it to say something cool. So there we go, Floods Paradise. All right, and that will be our deck stain for now. Um, now as far as the strategy in this game, um, there's really only going to be. Um, it's really only going to be, like, maybe two or three that I do. Uh, one's going to try to be a, you know, sort of a speed deck with uh, genies, and you guys may see that later. And another one will be a, uh, a uh, alphabet soup deck. And with what I mean by that is I'll try to get, you know, X Head Cannon, Y Dragon Head. That's probably one of my favorite decks to run. Uh, and uh, Z Metal Tank, yeah, and the Fusion. Uh, now, it's been a while since I've played this game, but I don't know if uh, V Tiger Jet and W Wing Catapult are in this game. I don't know about those two. But I do remember Kaiba using X, Y, and Z, and I, I like to show that deck off. That, that's a kind of a fun deck. So, um, but yeah, we're just gonna duel Taya again, and uh, yeah, get some more points. All right, let's see what we got. Hmm. Now we could combo these two, Baron and Sword. Ooh, no, no, this is a, probably a better idea is uh, Muka Muka. Good card. Uh, and you'll see why. So I'm going to summon this attack mode. Yeah. And look at its stats. Yeah, it increases by 300 for each card in your hand. So that's pretty good. And I think it'll be alright. I mean, we're just dueling against Taya here, so I think it'll be alright if I set a card too, so 
And with that, we should be pretty good. So, let's see what Taya does. So, and a set of cards. All right. Three cards. Okay. She means business this time. She's going to show us the power of friendship. Wow, friendship. All right. <laughs> Don't know why I just did that. Um, let's summon Baron. <laughs> That's pretty cool animation. He's just kind of lifting. He's kind of like, <laughs> almost like taunting with that sword. He's just like, come at me, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Gift of the Elf. Okay. Nice. That uh, boosts your life points. 300 points for each monster on the field. So that's pretty good. All right. All right. Defeated Auxilio Hero. We also have that card. Um, I'm going to be looking to get rid of that card soon, too. Um, so, uh, yeah, while we're just schooling Taya here, not really doing much, there is one thing I want to say. And that is, um... You may be wondering, you know, what should I be doing, uh, you know, here early to start the game? Well, honestly, the answer is not much. Um, really, early in the game here, the only thing I would advise is, um, hmm, yeah, the, I'll play Arm Ninja, I suppose. Okay. Uh, the only thing I would advise... Uh, excuse me, early in the game here would be to uh, basically just keep leveling up. Keep leveling up, keep getting, um, you know, as much uh, KC points you can, and um, also keep uh, expanding your uh, duelist level. Um, now, uh, one thing you are going to want to do is uh, also duel at night. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, duel at night. Duel at night until you keep running into Yami Yugi. That's that's one of the first things we're looking on to progress the game, so. Uh, yeah, basically try to find, you know, the main character. And, uh, and yeah, from, from there I'll, I'll give you what else to look out for. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, you know, they were talking about the, uh, you know, Beginner's Cup in the beginning. And, uh, oh, nice. We can actually do something here. So, I'm going to flip Arm Ninja to check what her face down card is. So, I'm kind of curious. She hasn't, you know, triggered it yet or anything. So, what do you got, Taya? What are you hiding from me? Picura Circle of Enchantment, huh? Alright. And now I'm going to... You share the pain. Uh, basically, this requires... Both of us tribute, so I'm gonna get an open shatter. Both my monsters. <laughs> nice, Skell Angel. So I stopped her from drawing a card too. That's good. All right. All right. And you may be wondering, you know, why didn't you summon us see the old hero? Well, I, I'm basically just, you know, playing it safe, I guess you could say. Keeping Mooka Mooka at 1800, that's probably, honestly, a, a good play. So. Uh, but yeah, in the beginning, that's the main thing you're doing is, uh, you know, really just uh, getting experience, raising your, you know, you're improving your deck, basically. Because, uh, yeah, they mentioned that, you know, Beginner's Cup in the beginning, but I don't think you can even take it on until your duelist level is I don't know I want to say like five and maybe even higher I don't remember it's, it's been a been a while since we since I played this game but uh I do remember that you have to run into uh Yami Yugi first to trigger something I do remember that much so that's what we're gonna do petite moth <laughs> wow I wonder if Taya's deck, like, like she plays some of these, you know, kind of uh, lower monsters. I wonder if she has, like, you know, 
great moth in her deck and cocoon of evolution. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it just makes you wonder. What does she really have? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she runs like Moki Moki Smackdown in there too, for all, for all we know. I don't know. Yeah, because she does kind of use like a lot of fairies and stuff, so. Hmm. Makes you wonder. Alright, and with that, we have another victory. So good. Get that awesome victory music. Yeah, and you could see there, like, our level's only one, so, um, uh, of course, because we just started, uh, I think you don't unlock some duels till, like, level five, um, and then maybe, maybe it's, like, level eight or so you unlock the beginner's cup that they were talking about, um, so, oh, but we'll see. Uh, oh yeah, do I want to save in between? Nah, you know what, we got this. Let's, let's keep going, let's keep going. We, we won't lose to Mokuba. We can, uh, we can take him on without saving. Haha, <laughs> one-on-one, -on -one. welcome, you and me. Alright, Mokuba. Let's do it. Hits Mokuba, Flood's Paradise. I like how they put the deck name on there that you chose. Uh, underneath your name. That, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, Mokuba. I went in rock paper scissors. Mwahaha. Now I'm gonna get my rare hunters to order kidnap you. Wahaha. All right. What do we got here to start? Hmm. Oh, okay. Stim pack is good. Oh, and we got Muka Muka again. Wow, that's good. Hain Hain. Now Hain Hain's pretty good. You know, if he uh, gets to where he has a high-level monster on the field, yeah, Hain Hain, you can just return it right back to their hand. And Arm Ninja again, in case he plays an annoying spell card. Uh, but to start, I'm going to put Muka Muka, and I'm actually going to uh, set Dice Jar, too. It's pretty good. Uh, if you roll a 6, very good. Reduces all the opponent's monsters by 600. That's pretty cool. Ooh, back to square one. Good card. So that's going to leave me wide open. Not bad, Mokuba. Not bad. Uh, I could reduce the damage here, but nah. I'll just take the hit. I'll, I'll take it like a man. Sa save my skull dice. You know, that's something, uh... That's something I don't like about, you know, how they changed... Uh, skull dice and uh, how they change skull dice and graceful dice. So we're gonna draw Mukamuka. Muka. Ooh, is this card trap hole? You know, that's a good question. Hmm. To tell you what I'm gonna do. No, no, no I'll risk it. I'll, I'll summon it. I'll summon it. Okay, good. Uh, but yeah, that's something I I didn't like um, that they did to Joey's dice cards. Like in the anime, they were you know really good because like skull dice with a two, you know, cut their points in half. So that which is like basically like shrink. Um, you know, of course, if it was a four, it would cut their uh, attack by twenty five percent or a quarter. So I mean. And then Graceful Dice. Um, yeah, yeah. It only worked on monsters with like 500 or less. But then it multiplied, you know. So like 4, you would get all the way to eh, you know, like 2,000. Uh, this turn I'll probably set Arm Ninja? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably... S no, I'll set Hane Hane. Uh, but for this first attack, I'll keep my hand, so... Uh, but, but yeah, I don't like how they they change that, you know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, just think think how much more fun it would be if like you could leave. I don't know, you know, like like Joey does, Swordsman of Landstar out there, and then <laughs> you know get lucky with graceful dice and all of a sudden have a power of a blue eyes white dragon. That'd be awesome. 
in my opinion. I don't know. I can't, I can't be the only one who thinks that, so. But, yeah, kind of shame. Kind of a shame. Alright, Mokumba, what are you gonna do, man? Crocodilus? Alright. Ooh, good card. Wow. And there it is. There's Mokuba's best monster, guys. Big koala. Look at that thing. Oh. Now, since he used the tribute doll, he can't attack this turn. Lucky for us. <laughs> and even luckier for us, man. Last turn I said Hain Hain. Wow. So, yeah. Here's the benefits of Hain Hain, just like I was talking about. Um, since he, you know, has a, uh, a monster re that requires tributes, Hain Hain. Bye bye. Right back to his hand. Man. That could have been bad. I mean, without Hain Hain there, honestly, we might have lost the duel. No, I'm not going to lie. We, we might have lost. So, all right. Whew. Man, did we get lucky there. That was a good play. That was a good play. I didn't even know he had tribute, doll. Wow. Okaba. Alright. Thank you, Hain Hain. And now he's, uh... Mokuba's backed into a corner now. He's only got one card in his hand, and he can't, you know, summon it easily. So... We'll see. We'll see. Another face down, huh? Alright. Well, I think I'll yeah, I'll probably switch Hain Hain back to defense. Um but yeah, I know that's the only card in his hand right now, so I'm gonna use Arm Ninja to scout out one of his uh face down cards. Spell card to destroy Token Festival, okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, I think this might be game here. Let's see. 450 Um, I have a feeling this could be game, so let me play Great White, and then let me, yeah, let me just, uh, ultimately this is going to serve us better, because, uh, as long as he doesn't play any traps or anything, the, uh, point transfer should be... Almost like just enough. So, sort of hatred. And this is one souped up shark. My goodness. Alright. Let's see. I think this will end it. 28, 12. Uh, man. No, he's going to have like 100 points left after this. So, oh, that's okay though. I knew I knew it would be close with that with me playing all those equips, but yeah. All right. Yeah, three hundred. All right. Man, almost had you, Mocha, but almost. Yeah, because these two will be four thousand all together. So okay. If I had just drawn Neo, <laughs> oh, no, it's all good though. I mean, there's there's no way he can pull pull something out of nowhere. And even if he does, we've got Skull Dice ready and waiting. All right, Mogoba. Woo! Bet that hurt. All right, your turn. Let's see what you can do. Pot of greed, Raigeki. No, just face down. All right. Crawling dragon, huh? All right. Oh yeah, and stip hack. Uh, eh, it, it's all right. In the short term, it's good, but in the long run, it's kind of bad. Uh, basically, you get 700 to start, and then you decrease your attack points by 200 each standby phase. So, uh, but. 
you know, for a starter deck card, it can help you out in a pinch, so I can see why they threw it in here. Alright. So, your last defense is a Griff War, huh? Well, that's... Not really gonna help you, buddy. Sorry. All Ninja, direct attack. That's right. Use Kagebushi no Jutsu. Do it. <laughs> Alright. And there we go. Another win over Mokuba. Alright. And man, that was, uh... Mokuba, honestly, I didn't know you had it in you, man. You, you almost had us there with that big koala. That, that was good. That was a good duel. Alright. Uh, what else shall we do? What else? Let's see here. Uh, tell you what, let's go home. And let's save. And let, let's see if we can run into someone else here. Well, I th well, actually, let's see. How much time do we have? Uh, well, we're about at 26 minutes right now. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I, I think we have time for one more duel. So, we'll do one more duel here, and then we will end the episode, I think. Yeah, should be a good start. Um... Yeah, and if I don't have enough time, I'll just continue continue this duel in the next part. So, who do we got here? Oh, it's Yugi! Good, good. You know what? I'm not sure or not, but I think you may have to run into Yugi before you can run into Yami Yugi. Um, yeah, that, that just kind of makes sense, you know? Because each character, as they, as they come, you know, they kind of introduce themselves, so... That's good. Uh, Yugi, Magic Darkness. Alright, now this still will be a, of course, it's Yugi, so. It'll be, you know, a little tougher than, uh, dude, Yugi, you really are the king of games, man. I, I can't beat you in rock, paper, scissors, dude. Alright, there we go. Now I'm the king of games. Haha. -ha. I'm the king of rock, paper, scissors. Um, now. Uh, let me try and say this the best way I can. Uh, Yugi... Well, here in the beginning... Ooh, Muka Muka again. Wow, that is really good. Um... You know what, I'm gonna try to cheese him here. I'm actually gonna set Muka Muka in just that, because then his defense will be, like, 1800, so... Um... But yeah, here in the beginning, uh, Yugi's deck's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be the best, um, uh, you know, it'll be, you know, sort of at a beatable level. He didn't play any monsters. Wow, that's lucky. Alright, so I'll summon Great White, and, wow, no trap hole anything? Does Yugi have Mirror Force? You know, I don't know. But I'm going to play it safe. Uh, I'll just attack just with Great White. Okay, Spellbinding Surf. Okay, okay. Not bad, Yugi. Not bad. So, like I was saying, uh, here in the beginning, his deck won't be... You know, it won't be as good, but it, it will be... It'll be, it'll be alright. You know, it'll be doable. Uh, nice swords are revealing light. Wow. Okay, Yugi. Well done, my friend. Well done. All right. Um, man. So I can't attack. Twenty four hundred is pretty good. I tell you what. I will just set trap hole. Uh, in case he sacrifices that for like. I don't know, Curse of Dragon or something like that. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying at the beginning, uh, it won't be, you know, completely unbeatable. And he is going to sacrifice it. Okay, Yugi. Oh, Summon Skull. 
Oh, there we go. And that there's one of those uh, AMV sequences I was talking about. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Yes, I will chain a card. Summon Skull meets my trap. Haha! -ha. Fall into the pit of despair. Trap hole activate. Destroy his summon skull. Whew. And that's a good card to get. Uh, if we can, I, I will try to get one of those. That that's definitely a help to the bit. So, all right. Ooh, arm ninja. Okay. Okay, I can work with that because yeah, if I use arm ninja, that'll destroy swords one turn early. This is good. This is good. We're doing all right here, honestly. Good, 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 good. All right. So that means I'll be able to attack one turn earlier. Um, yeah, but like I was saying earlier, gazelle. Okay. Well, I mean, you just searched for it, so. Ooh, Horn of the Unicorn. Man, not bad, Yugi. Not bad at all, dude. Wow, so now that's stronger than Muka Muka. Oh, but he took out Great White. Okay, this is good. This is good. So I should be able to destroy... Because if I draw another card, Muka Muka will be at 2400. So I should be able to destroy... No, 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 you know what? No. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. We play Arm Ninja, because we have to take out swords. We just have to. Okay. And then... Bye-bye, swords. There you go. Use the ninja tools. Alright, and now, yeah, share the pain, because that's his only monster, so... That's right, tribute your, tribute your gazelle. Do it, do it. <laughs> Alright, Yugi, got you that time. Now that will return to the top of his deck, but... Uh, this way we'll get a direct attack on him. Uh, I hope. What's that face sound? Stop us! Nope. Alright, good, good. Whew, dodged the bullet there. Alright. Well, Yugi's playing pretty good so far, I, I have to say. Yeah, Summon Skull and Powered Up Gazelle, pretty good. So far, this is a pretty good duel. Probably the best one we've had so far. So. Alright, what time are we at? 33 minutes? Alright, let's keep going. Uh, what should I play here? Tell you what, let's. Now you know what? I'm gonna set prevent rat. That's what I'm gonna do. I could try to, you know, go for a direct attack on him, but yeah, be for worry. But no, I'm gonna play a little defensively here, just cause uh, Yugi's playing pretty good. So in case anything happens to Muka Muka, we'll have a a good defense. You know, I'm just doing that in case. You know, Yugi decides to set like a mirror force or magic cylinder, you know, something like that. So. Alright, your turn, Yugi. Uh, now, as far as Yugi's strategy, um, I, and I think it's like this in a lot of games that Yugi's in, but his strategy is basically this. Hmm, the gate attack, interesting. But. Yeah, this is basically his strategy. Uh, you know, hide behind a strong defensive monster, like you saw, like like he's been playing all along. Beaver Warrior, 1500. Um, uh, you know, Griff War, 1500. Uh, Mystical Elf, 2000. Uh, Giant Soldier of Stones, two, you know, Big Shield Garden. Like, what he'll do... You know, Gear Golem, the Moving Fortress at 2200. And what Yugi will do is he'll basically, you know, have as many defensive walls as possible eventually. And then once he has, like, as you saw there, once he has one, you know, um, uh, one monster that he can sacrifice for, he'll play something like Summon Skull, or he'll play. 
uh, what's he doing? Oh yeah, Horn of the Unicorn. Okay, good good move. You get a good, good move. But yeah, as soon as he can, he'll play like Summon Score or two tributes. He'll play Dark Magician. Or, you know, later when his deck gets better, he'll play, you know, Buster Blader. Uh, you know, things like that. that and that's Yugi's basic strategy. And, and, and of course, all the while, he'll confuddle you with traps like Spellbinding Circle, Mirror Force, and uh, Magic Cylinder. So, yeah, Yugi's strategy in a nutshell, nutshell. It's honestly pretty good. So, alright, so we'll summon Whipsail Crow here. Because with 21, yeah, we can still kill uh, Feral Imp. So, and that's actually kind of good because then uh, Horn of the Unicorn returns to the top of his deck. Now, and he has only two cards in his hand, so that that's good because we're basically preventing him from drawing a new card. So, and that's what you want. So. All right, Yugi. Still, that wasn't a bad attack, though. wasn't bad at all. All right, man, Muka Muka is like <laughs> we've been getting lucky with that card. That. A card's been in, I think, each duel this episode. <laughs> so far, so good. It's serving us uh, pretty well. I may try to get another one uh, if I can remember which pack it's in. Ooh, and, and it worked out like we planned. We sealed his draw. All right, how much you got left, Yugi? Twenty fifty. Ooh, okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go for another bonus. Uh, I'm going to play Sword of Dark Destruction on Hotel Curl here. And, uh, yeah, I think if you get exactly zero, uh, it gives you another bonus. So, let's see if I'm right. Let's, uh, try to finish him off. Hotel Curl. Come on. Yes. Oh, wait, Karibo? You got Karibo, Yuki? No. Alright. Well, that's game, bro. Good game. And that was that was pretty good. That was a pretty good duel. But uh, we were able to outdo him there. All right, and we level up. So now we're level two. Awesome. And as you can see, huge bonus, 300 for leveling up. And yes, you get 10 for uh, exactly zero, which is a new bonus. So there we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, that was good, Yugi. That was good. I was so close. I won't lose next time. <laughs> oh, uh, we'll see, Yugi. We'll see. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for the uh, second episode here. So I am going to stop the video here, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time on the next episode of Yukio Nightmare Troubadour. All right. Bye-bye.